Hi, beautiful. Are you ready for a Mondo makeover? Woo! I cannot wait to do some hair today, but I'm actually really nervous <laughs> about the palette of hair that I'm working with today. We got a special guest. I've been dying to get my hands on Gabby's hair ever since I met her. There's a lot going on on that head. You'll see in a second just what I mean, but I'm confident I can completely transform her hair, get rid of all the extensions, make it all brand new again, just using some really good products and some really Really good color but this is gonna be a challenge so let's begin hello gabby welcome to the studio i got a little bit of a situation those of you who see my youtube videos don't realize what's underneath i explained it to brad mm -hmm. and he's gonna save my life and your hair so there's a lot of extensions yeah it's all fake i have clip-ins i have really grown out eye tip extensions i have little baby hairs tied back in rubber bands i've got floating bobby pins I've got different lengths of blonde I'm done, I'm done. Long story short, I need his help. Okay, we're gonna do a lot to fix this up. Honestly, I know all the comments are gonna be like, just go back to brunette, you look better brunette. But people, I wanna be blonde. Like, like that's not, like what I want. Not everybody wants to be brunette. <laughs> like, we wanna be blonde. We're gonna do a hair mask, some glossing treatments, a haircut, and we're just gonna spruce things up. Without makeup on, without extensions, I feel weird not to get like all emotional, but I wanna feel like pretty when I'm not wearing extensions. And this all goes back to a healthier hair care routine. A lot yeah. of women especially have an attachment to extensions too mm -hmm. and it's really hard to go from wearing them all the time to not at all anymore. Yeah. So I understand like why that would be so difficult for you but we're gonna make Definitely. you feel confident in your natural hair. Thank you it's, so much. Yeah of course. Wow. Let's transform these locks into a beautiful fabulous gorgeous bob. You ready? Yes I'm ready. Let's do it! <laughs> I got your hair. I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the time. Guys, comment below if you think I should do this. They are in there, girl. They're very thick too. There we go. One down. We're working our way around your head. We got a lot of these beads out. It's actually looking better than I thought it would. Yeah. It's not all broken off. I mean, this is usually the healthiest part of somebody's head. It is, I was gonna say, it's the back and the bottom, but once you work your way towards the top and the back. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sweating back here. I know, the knots, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's all good, Honestly, nothing I can't handle. The volume that it has right now, I feel like is good for like an updo. Yeah, definitely. Like, we'll go with that. When are you gonna be on your healthy hair journey? When that? When is that gonna happen? I I can't predict when I'll ever go back to brunette. I don't even know if that's gonna happen in my lifetime. Maybe one day it'll be like a long shadow root, almost balayage, mm -hmm. but I think my days of being just completely blonde and a touch of root are just gonna be there for the next 10 years. I Googled you today. Mm -hmm. so I was looking at your photos of just like what you've done with your hair. There's been a lot of looks. I didn't realize yeah. like, that you had dark hair, yeah. you had light hair, you had balayage, you had long, Red. medium. What was your favorite yeah. look? It was like this weird in-between color I had when I was very young. It was almost like a strawberry orangey brown. Mm -hmm. I asked for red hair and then they gave me that, uh -huh. not auburn, and I liked it. I love like brassy yellow. People tear me <laughs> apart online. They're like, girl, get some like purple shampoo. I love, Brassy yellow? I love like... You're not getting that from me. <laughs> I love like that trashy blonde color. <laughs> we'll give you warm. Like I love being Goldilocks. You like that Barbie hair look. Mm, Barbie. Fresh out of the factory plastic hair Yep. Look. I love it. We got all the extensions out. And all of your hair is now over here. <gasps> oh <laughs> my gosh, that is so much hair. I have to be honest with you, it's better than I thought. There's not super severe breakage on the top. Like you have layers. Like once we clean this up, you don't have one piece that's an inch long. And to do a bob, we need just a little bit of length on the top and some length on the bottom. And we can clean this up and make it look beautiful. I'm but excited. seriously, like you can wear your natural hair and we can get it there to a place where it looks really healthy and beautiful without extensions. Oh my god, thank you. We're gonna start with a deep conditioning treatment, Super Gloss, my product. It's gonna make your hair so much healthier, feel healthier, and be healthier internally with Bond Builder. Then we're gonna give you uh, a glossing treatment. We're gonna change your color a little bit just to make it a little less maintenance for you and you don't have to color it as often, but mm -hmm. still keep you very blonde. Then we're gonna do a little trim. I'm gonna take off as much as I can without making your hair short. And then we're gonna blow it out, style it, give you a really cute overall look at the end. A little shadow root in the bob. I'm to do that. 
All right, let's get into it. Let's get this glue out. Let's get your hair washed. Let's do it all. Gabby, Gabby, Gabby. It's been a while. It's been a I couple know. hours now. <laughs> well, let me just say your products actually Stop. make me love my hair like this without, oops, without the haircut and everything. Stop. Wait, this super gloss though treatment, it did wonders. I like, can't believe this is like what my blonde hair feels like. It feels like silk. Like look how long and like together like it looks. And shiny, like shiny from the inside out. Like you're, yeah. you're getting health. Damaged my ass. Literally, Literally, I posted our TikTok and all the comments are like, is he going to save your hair? Your hair says damaged. <laughs> Literally, you it's are saving my hair. <laughs> I'm so excited though to like get my hands in the cut too because once we get these ends off, it's going to look even better. And we're going to put this color on, get your makeup done, bring everything together, style like it. You make like that's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me start the color. Let's get this on. Let's get some of this banding you got going on out. This band. Um, it looks better now that everything is kind of blown out and everything's mm -hmm. kind of blending better, but we're going to soften that band a little bit. Get more of a root shadow going on. Get just a little bit of the yellow out of the ends. Mm -hmm. I want to still keep you yellow because you like that. I just want to bring it together a little bit more, make it a little more cohesive mm -hmm. of a look and add even more add shine. Add some class to my hair. That's my goal. <laughs> and also, Joelle is here to start your makeup. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Gorgeous. How are you? Good. I think a fierce eye. Fierce a eye. A beautiful skin. I love it. And Thank a you. gorgeous lip. Yes. Pull it all together, bring the look together. It's gonna we look it. fabulous. Yay! I'm so excited. I'm excited. Let's yes. do it. Let's, Let's make do magic. It. Amazing. All right, Gabby. Tell me about life. <laughs> no. That again, Tell me about your life. Okay. I want to know about your life on YouTube because you've been on YouTube for a really long time, right? It's been 11 years. Holy shit. A long shit. time. It's twice as long as me, and I feel like I'm ancient online. I seriously like thought I wouldn't be making YouTube videos this far in, but here we are. Nikki and I are still making content. <laughs> We're still vlogging and like we enjoy it. Speaking yeah. of your sister, there was something in the past, right, with you two or am, yeah. I, am uh, I imagining Are that? you talking about when I got mad at her for uploading a non-photoshop <laughs> non photo of me? <laughs> no, I do not Instagram. know that, but that's hilarious. That I love like that. A, that, was a bit, that was a big scandal. Everyone thought it was a publicity stunt because our reality <laughs> show or like season four of our reality show came out and everyone thought it was just like perfect timing because like episode one just got released so they thought it was for that it was a genuine sister fight online oh my god it was in my messy era like really <gasps> petty messy era i didn't mind calling people out and being drama online you guys have always been very different though yeah which is really cool because like i feel like twins are usually very similar but you guys have really kind of paved your own paths and like become very different people you know as identical twins sharing a birthday you don't even get your own birthday to yourself like we you share everything in life and now it's like we're branching off we shared a career for the last 10 plus years we're still doing Nikki and Gabby but we're totally embracing different endeavors I'm doing perfume and music and Nikki's doing music and music mm -hmm. it's like so crazy to see the trajectory of like where we started to where we are now did you guys do that on purpose no it just was a natural flow we definitely got burnt out at one point on Nikki and Gabby and we kept pushing through that burnout because it was quarantine and what else was there to do we definitely feel too much and that's what led to a burnout and we took like a five month break we kind of went through our own things in our lives and then we came back together and then yeah we're still doing Nikki and Gabby. How do you get we, along so well? We don't get along so well which is the crazy part everyone's like oh my god you could tell how genuine they are in this video mm -hmm. the relationship grew so much yeah maybe we matured emotionally but we're still sisters that bicker and it's really really hard to share everything with your sister including a career mm -hmm. and a business as long as we're doing Nikki and Gabby that's always going to be a factor that like gets in the way. Speaking of your vlog 
vlogs. We have a lot of surgery vlogs, don't we? Yes, we love a good that, plastic surgery moment. <laughs> and I binged all of your surgery vlogs because oh. I'm so fascinated by people's surgery journeys. Oh my God, some of them are wild. Yeah. Like, have you gotten a lot of backlash for posting those? I would that, imagine yeah. people will be like, why are you doing that? And they like feel like they have an opinion over your face or yes. something. You brought up the third nose job vlog. I thought by, at that point, people would just like soften up and be like, okay, she's just gonna do what she's gonna do. The whole comment section was still lecturing me about how I have body dysmorphia, how I need to get help. So, you know, it's whatever. I'll just let them talk to each other in the comments, but I loved and appreciated certain things that I've done. I'd like to say I've been taking it easy a little bit. There was a point where I was kind of doing one thing after the next, and maybe that's where those comments are coming from. As of recent, I think I'm chilling, and I took some of those hate comments with a grain of salt. Your lot. face is your brand. Your yeah. face is your work. What's the first procedure you ever got done? Um, My lips. Like, as soon as I turned 18, I threw myself in the lip filler chair the day after. <laughs> You're like, fill me. Literally, the day <laughs> after my 18th birthday, I threw myself in a chair. I didn't know that you would swell up. I didn't know what to do because my parents would see my mouth was swollen and they were very against. Like, they heard me talking about wanting to do stuff to my face my whole, like, high school years. So yeah. they were very against it, especially because I wanted to get all that stuff done at that age. I hit up my ex-boyfriend and I was like, can I please just pack a bag and stay with you till my lips go down? And he's like, sure. I don't know. I look back at like my first procedure and even though it made me so happy, it gives me anxiety remembering like how I had to hide it from so many different people, including my twin sister. Like she was that twin or that sister that if she found out and like I was still like hiding from my parents, she would just still, she would tell them. Like I couldn't hide from anybody. And Nikki saw my lips told my parents because she was scared for uh -huh. me and then my parents saw my lips and then I got punished and everything got taken away from me for a week but I still love my lips you told me that like makeup helped you kind of like feel good about yourself too way before I could get anything done like makeup was my best friend and it still is there's something so beautiful about makeup because like if you weren't born looking a certain way you could just achieve it by using your hands and product it was such a quick fix where the surgery came into play is I got tired of having to put on certain makeup looks to get a certain look I was like you know what I'm tired of this I want to wake up looking like this so that's where certain surgeries like my nose came into play Do you my have eyes that was a scary one that was a really scary surgery that one scared me a little bit for yeah. you Nobody told me that my whole entire face would be super swollen for a year after that one series of surgeries. I thought like I'd only have like maybe three weeks of swelling, but oh my gosh, for a whole year, my face looked crazy. What was that first time like putting that online? Like, was that really oh scary? God, was... Or did you start slowly? It took like a while for me to open up about my lips and own up to them. I was going through the whole lip filler owning up thing mm -hmm. before Kylie Jenner even got a syringe. So that should just paint a picture how like not talk about lip filler was in the time that I was yeah. getting it. So then when Kylie Jenner kind of opened up about her lip filler, it gave me like confidence to talk about my lip filler. By the time I was getting my nose done, I was confident to post about surgery. What advice would you give to somebody who's thinking about getting their first filler or surgery? Would you say go ahead and do it? Would you say like think about it? I would say definitely think about it, but if it's something you've been wanting and you feel like you'll feel your soul come into your body when it's done, do it and disregard everybody's opinions. Just honestly do what makes you feel like the best version of yourself. The people that are judging and have something to say, they're not you. You just gotta keep living for yourself and just like fuck everybody else's opinion, honestly. Because yeah. they're not gonna be the one I'm walking around looking fabulous. You saved up for your first surgery from YouTube, I assume. Mm -hmm. I actually specifically got a brand deal for my first nose job. <gasps> Wait, really? Like you didn't yeah. have to pay for any of it? No, no, I oh. paid for it, but I got a, like a certain brand deal. I set aside the money for my yeah. nose job. I think it was that period app. Well, thank you, yeah. period <laughs> app like for sponsoring <laughs> Gabby's nose job. You guys are the best. You're, here's a, they are here's the another best. free sponsorship. Another free sponsorship. <laughs> Check out period app. <laughs> What's your favorite YouTube era? When the saturated era ended and like vlogs became everything. When you say that, what does that mean? Like those lifestyle girls that would oh. like have bright neon everything mm. and like be on penny boards. Oh, saturated. I thought you meant like donuts. a lot of people on YouTube. No, I liked when there was not so much pressure on like being a cookie cutter lifestyle girly. It definitely edged up a little bit for mm -hmm. us in like 2016, 2017. So I would say that. Were you a part of that like cookie cutter? I was like unintentionally in it. Like Nikki and I, we've never been cookie cutter. Anyone mm -hmm. who knows us outside. No, you guys were wild. We're freaking wild. <laughs> Both of them were wild. I was so shocked when I met you guys. I was like, wow, they're actually like really fun. <laughs> like, not that you don't look fun online, but like it's a different level yeah. of like wild when you hang out with people yeah. outside of like YouTube. They're like 
jumping beans. Like, they are <laughs> nuts. Offline, before YouTube, I've always been, like, energetic. But I feel like I hid a certain side of me online. Like, what side of you? Just super, like crazy and not so cookie cutter mm -hmm. like i love to party i love a good time i have dirty humor I don't know. yeah that must have been scary transitioning from like cookie cutter to yeah. showing more of your life definitely what's something that people wouldn't know about you i could list a few but it just wouldn't be right in you <clears throat> she was like i was at an orgy last night <laughs> <laughs> everything comes out in the hair chair All right, the color has been applied. We're gonna let this process for about 15, 20 minutes. We're gonna rinse it out and style your hair. And then you'll see your final look. I'm, I'm so excited. So ready for this. Let's finish it off. Let's do the damn thing. Okay, I just finished styling your hair and it's time to see the final result. I always get nervous. I'm nervous like, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big change, so get ready. Should I look up? You can look up. Oh my God. <laughs> I am obsessed with this look. You look so like elegant. We were working with a palette that was damaged and yeah. that hadn't been cut in years mm -hmm. and that, you know, had a little banding and things going on. We were able to make it feel so healthy. I just and can't look believe this is my hair. New. I literally can't believe it either. I thought we we're gonna put some extensions in and, you know, have to fill it out more. You have a great amount of hair. I'm tired of people telling me my hair is damaged. You ruined it. No, I didn't. There's some length Wait, over here. It looks so cute behind your ears like this too. Like, <gasps> And I know it's like a huge adjustment because you came in with completely different hair, but yeah, I love it. This looks really sick, and I feel like it just embraces your natural beauty. Thank you so much. It's gonna grow out healthily, like now that it's all cut. Exactly. Even that's like the best word to describe my hair right now. Just even. You have good hair underneath all of that. You give it a little rest, and it'll be perfect. This I mean, this is like so healthy feeling. It really is. Like I wish people could feel it through the screen. It feels. so so different and it has this natural shine to it that just wasn't there before. Everything really came together to give you like such a natural, beautiful look. I feel like posh spice. You I really love it. Like Thank you. You look so beautiful. I love this. Honestly, it feels so good to have it off my, the back of my neck. Yeah. Like it feels so good. Is this what you feel like? Does, Does it not like? just feel good to run your hands through your hair? Get in there, girl. Like mess it up. Ooh. Like this is my hair. So we did the conditioning treatment, but I want to talk about the color. Definitely different than what you walked in with. You showed me the extensions you were getting tomorrow. So we tried to like match it a bit but without being too, too dark. You we kept some of that gold in there but kind of toned it down a bit mm -hmm. just to match your complexion a little bit better then we finished off with a haircut we just did a simple bob and kept it up shoulder length then added some layers in there just to get rid of those crispy ends have you ever been seen online without extensions in the past like 10 seven years or maybe in the beginning but not for a second like i think the last time was 2017. Holy last shit. summer everyone thought that they were seeing me without extensions but i had like a row of clips in that were short <laughs> so like they thought they were like look she actually has natural hair guys like this is the real natural you this is the real natural hair wow guys. i'm gonna be obviously giving you a bunch of products you're gonna be doing masks once a oh week my God. you're gonna do recalibrate treatments everything that's in this bag you need to use and let's get your hair to feel really Thank really you. good and be really long naturally because your hair is really thick and beautiful
beautiful naturally. You don't even need <laughs> extensions. I know. I love how thick my natural hair is. Once I, this, I haven't felt this in forever. Once this grows out, you're going to have naturally long, long hair. I want that. I want that for I you. I want that. That's, That's the goal. goal. That was so Thank fun. You. Thank you for coming in. Thank you so much. You're so beautiful. Damn. That was a day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm obsessed with the makeover. By the way, don't anybody come after me when she changes her hair tomorrow because she is getting extensions put in. We are all aware of that, right? Okay, great. I just prepped her hair for the extensions, but she is still doing them and that's okay. That's what makes her feel beautiful. And I love both looks on her. I love the short, I love the long, but you let me know down below what you think looks best on Gabby. Is it the long, is it the short? Is it the more yellowy blonde? Is it the more creamy, pearlescent blonde? I don't know, I like both. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. And make sure you check out Gabby's channel, linked below. And all the X Mondo products are linked below. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.